do you feel now then? Jealous. Oh. Put you outside a pub on a Saturday night and Mr. Carmen loses his zen. Oh, I used to love pubs. I even collected bar mats when I was a teenager. Wow, you were big hit at parties then. Come on. What's going on? Stag night. I'm the best man. Bridegroom's over. Oh dear. Oh my god. Few too many. Excuse me. Excuse me. Have you got any hey toothy paste or or mints? I mean mi mints. We would definitely. You all right, mate? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh. oh. Oh, I don't know what happened to me there. Oh. I'm getting married tomorrow. So I heard. Congratulations. You know what? I am the luckiest man in the world. I am. Because it's, it's, it's like it's like me. <laughs> What's she called? Michelle. Oh, she's she's gorgeous. She's she's. She, she does this thing with, with, with her forehead when, she, when she's thinking. It's, it's, you know, like when she... It, frowns. Yeah, yeah. Well, kind of. Uh, that's the thing. Yeah, I gotta go. Uh, do you think I seem a bit pissed? Well, a little bit, maybe. <laughs> Cheers. See you, mate. Le left. Hmm. Listen, I don't care what you're saying, but we are doing the right thing, aren't we? Oh. Mm. Sorry, I, I think I've got stage fright. Mm. Mm. Look, true love, eh? Mr. Wright's got a bit on the side. No. Okay, hold on a sec. <coughs> Doggy! Uh, uh, still here! Shh. My parents will go spare. Oh, they won't mind. Oh, I don't want to let them down. They've been so fantastic. And... Oh my god! What? Doggy, he's like a bad omen. I'm just getting into my suit now. Uh, Steve left about half an hour ago. This is the one. Yeah, mate. How's your head? Oh, a bit sore. Sunlight's a bit of a problem, but I think I'll manage. <laughs> then she, well, she opened the door and, uh, <clears throat> well, she, she called the wedding off. Called it off? Yes. Then she, uh, she closed the door and locked it. Pulled it off and locked the door. You've sat in a pool of oil there, mate. Right, thanks. Just gotta switch the water on. Yeah, I, I know that Beck says it's to do with David and the dental hygienist thing, but I think it's to do with Jonathan. Well, I think she loves you, Doug. She you just... think? Oh my God, what an idiot. She, she still loves him, doesn't she? 15 months of learning Jewish history and dietary laws and, and I've just been trying to replace him, haven't I? No, Doug, no. Well, who am I kidding? I'm just Doug from Pinnacom. Look, no. The rabbi said that you were the best Hebrew scholar that he'd had in years. Oh, so what? I mean, you can't replace a man like Jonathan. I mean, not after what happened to him. I'm oh, sorry, Ben. I, I mean, what was I thinking? It's not just that, mate. She's losing it. I heard her talking to herself up there. No. She's talking to Mark. And left again. Yep. And all right. He's just the video man. No, that's Len. So he's Mark. He, uh, he's a guy who's good with cameras. Like he, he won't touch her. He can't touch her. He can't touch her. I, I'm going through hell down here. And you're telling me that my, my fiance has locked herself in a room with a, a sexually inadequate man who's good with cameras? 
Look, that's him, okay? I'm pleased to announce that Michelle is ready for you now. I have learned 613 mitzvot rules in Hebrew for her. I'd have done anything, anything. But no, she shoves me in the garage like an abandoned bike. Well, I'm sorry, but I think I've just been pushed too far. She said it was sort of like stage fright. I'm sorry, you are? Well, I'm, I'm a trainee rabbi. Ah, me odd. Well, exactly. You're a very lucky guy, Doug. She's a lovely girl. You bastard! You bastard! I stood there in front of all those people abandoned! I mean, you totally humiliated me, totally and utterly. Well, welcome to the club, Mimi. You feel humiliated. I, I'm, I'm bloody believable. I, I can't... Oh. If you still love Jonathan, why didn't you tell me? Jonathan Lester. I don't. I mean, I did. That was years ago. I'm sorry, I've had enough of this. Dugling. Mum! Uh, I've been trying to help her out. There's also some business about disappearing Novocaine at work. Oh, this just sounds so like a cover-up. Well, it's not. I am sick of the inside of this house. And I want a divorce. Another woman, or, or forgotten your anniversary. Haven't you noticed your dad's never here? He's always at work expanding the practice. He does bridge work for the whole of North Finchley these days. That's rubbish. If you must know, the practice has shrunk. Mervyn resigned because I defended Tina, and he's left with half the clients. It's a bloody disaster, Judy. That's what it is. Man's got to work, Mrs. Jacobs. Uh, who asked you, knobhead? Uh, Steve is just trying to be objective. I like you, Dougie. I really do. But your choice of best man has made me severely doubt your ability to discriminate between live human beings and vegetable matter. Oi, stop! Stop it! I mean, what is going on here? Yeah, I thought I was coming to a wedding today, but this is a playground brawl. You have got friends and family waiting. You... Do you think that if we had any wedding guests left, we could get married? It's just I've been wanting to for so long. Dougie, I'm so sorry. Ah, oh, excuse me. Do you think the wedding will take place today? Uh, we're, we're coming right now. We can't apologize enough. Oh, good, good. Well, let's do it. Michelle. Moment of great joy. We break a glass to remind us of the fragmentation of our people our history of persecution. Today, we mend that past by making a new sacred space, a marriage, a Jewish home, where the love and values of these two young people will make a sanctuary, a safe haven for children, for family, and for friends. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Mazel tov.